Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find primary sources using the World Digital Library. Now, this is a follow-up to a similar video I did about the National Register of Historic Places. So here we are at WDL.org, and you can see we have one of 19,000 items that we can look through. And there's a bunch of ways that you can search for and browse for items. You could just do a keyword search like they suggest with the railroad. And we'll see there's you know, 2,000, more than 2,000 items that come through and you know, open that up in a new tab and learn more about it. Over here, we have the options to download it. We've got our PNG or PDF options for downloading it. To read all about it, you can even listen to the page if you want to. You see some related items, but what I really like here is that it geolocates it for you to tell you where that image was taken and where it came from. Again, we have some additional subjects we might want to search. But there are other ways to search here. One of my favorite ways to search is to go into the Explore option and select place and now we can search according to place or browse according to place you can see europe latin america and the caribbean middle and middle east and north north africa north america All right. so let's take a look here this collection and then we see that collection is further divided and we can look in here And again, any item we find, if I click on it, hit view item, you can read more about it. And again, you can download it as a PNG file. Now let's go back up here. We can explore, we can go by time period, topic, or we also have this option for timelines. And the timelines are fairly limited, but you can see here we have World War I, World History, U.S. History, Manuscripts from Europe, Chinese Books, Manuscripts, Maps, and Prints. Let's just do World History. And we have this timeline that we can now search through, browse through to jump to different artifacts. And information about those artifacts. Again, click through, read more about it, and download it as needed. So that's a short overview of the World Digital Library. Again, it's a good place to go to find some primary sources that you might use in your classroom or your students might consult when doing some research. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.